If you're looking to take full control of your smart devices, you've probably heard of Task Motor. Normally, adding Task Motor requires setting up MQTT topics, which can get a bit technical and frustrating. But what if I told you there's a damn easy way to connect your Task Motor devices directly into Apple HomeKit? Hello, and welcome to my channel, which is all about building an affordable DIY smart home that supports the Apple HomeKit ecosystem. And I've done tons of tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. Now, today we are diving into something really exciting for anyone looking to build a smart home that's completely under their control. No cloud dependency, just pure local control. I'm talking about Task Motor and how to integrate it into Apple HomeKit using a HomeBridge plugin. So let's start with Tasmoda itself. What is it? Now, Tasmoda is a custom firmware designed for a wide range of smart devices, typically those based on the ESP8266 or ESP32 chips. Now, this firmware replaces the default firmware, giving you complete control over your devices locally and securely without needing to rely on the manufacturer's cloud servers. Basically, Tasmoda equals to custom firmware plus full local control plus cloud free. Now, one of the reasons I chose Tasmoda is that it lets you integrate your devices with platforms like HomeBridge or Home Assistant without compromising privacy or relying on the cloud. That's the whole point of building a DIY smart home. Plus the best part, you can actually find devices online that come with Tasmoda already pre-flashed and ready to go. No setup hassle, just connect and you're all set to go. Now, here are some of the highlights of why Tasmoda is a fantastic choice for smart homes, especially if you are interested in one, local control. This is a big one. Unlike cloud-based systems, all data and commands stay within your local network, meaning faster responses and enhanced privacy. Two, customizable firmware. You can tweak a ton of settings to fit your exact needs. Tasmoda supports a lot of devices from bulbs to smart switches, sensors, and many more. Three, reliability. With no need to rely on cloud servers, your devices won't go offline if there's a server issue and you're not affected by any cloud service shutdowns. Plus, there's a huge community around Tasmoda, which is always a bonus. If you run into issues or want to add functionality, you'll find a ton of help online. All right, let's get to the fun part. We are going to take this device that's already flashed with Tasmoda and integrate it into Apple HomeKit using the HomeBridge Tasmoda plugin. By the way, there's no need to set up MQTT to make this work. Anyways, we are going to be following this guide on the plugins GitHub page. And I'll also link to the guide in the description to anyone interested. This is the page we'll be referencing as we set up this plugin. First, we need to install the HomeBridge Tasmoda plugin. So what you're going to do is open HomeBridge, go to the plugins tab and search for Tasmoda control. Once you find it, go ahead and click install. Now that the plugin is installed, we can go to the plugin settings. Now here, we need to add some key details about our Tasmoda device, which in my case is going to be this pre-flash Tasmoda smart plug. Now the critical parts for this configuration are the name of the device, IP address of the same device, which also needs to be reserved in your router settings. Under advanced settings, you can further adjust the settings and you can also import the default name the device has in task mode. Again, it's an option. Lastly, if you set up any credentials to access device, then add that information here. In my case, there is none. Now, once you fill this in, go ahead, hit save and restart HomeBridge. You can also have the option of enabling it as a child bridge in my case, I haven't done that. After restarting, your task motor device should now show up in the home bridge device sections. Now, it will also automatically show up in Apple Home app. You can access it as you would with any other HomeKit compatible device. Now, let's go ahead and test it by opening up the Apple Home app. You can see that I can now turn on the plug instantly 
and control my lab shade. So since this is running all locally, there is no lag, no waiting for cloud servers. It just works as if it's a HomeKit compatible device. Now, if you ask me, why is this combination of Tasmota and HomeBridge such a game changer? Now for anyone interested in smart home tech, but cautious about privacy and reliability, Tasmota gives you full local control and integrating with HomeBridge and HomeKit lets you keep everything within one ecosystem, all without any reliance on the cloud. And that's it for today's walkthrough of how to integrate Transmoda pre-flashed or devices you've already flashed into HomeKit using a HomeBridge plugin. If you're considering moving away from cloud dependent devices or are just curious about setting up a local control in your smart home, Give Tasmoda and Homebridge a shot. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on our smart home journey and other exciting DIY smart home projects. Cheers and happy automation.